Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana. In this video, we are going to take a look at one of the most common error as a beginner that uh, well coders face. So, without you know just getting too much into introduction, I'm going to show you the error. So, it is this pip install task. So we have got the syntax error, invalid syntax, and uh, with all of these squiggly lines, and sometimes we don't understand what we did wrong. You see, if you are a beginner you may have a little bit of confusion on working with shells which is to say that this particular shell that i'm currently working in is a python shell if i exit out of it and please watch closely if i just type exit it's not going to work but we were used to working with exit command so often in command prompt but this time it is not working because the same command is not going to work in Python shell even if you look above see this Microsoft Windows and all of this and at the very top corner you can see this uh, whole path name and the cmd.exe making you sure that you're working in command prompt so as a beginner it becomes confusing sometimes however please take it step by step so I'm just going to exit out of it because several beginners make this mistake and that's why if you just type exit it is going to politely tell you to use exit parenthesis or control z and return to exit from this python shell it is not going to terminate your command prompt window which is this let me just you know wiggle it a little so this is our command prompt window but inside of it this particular area this is a shell. How do we know that? Well, first of all, we typed Python to enter in this shell. After that, these three greater than signs are designed to, you know, to signal you that you are working in a different shell. Now you are going to enter different commands than you were used to. So we are working in a Python shell and that's why the commands are going to be related to Python. And this is where this pip install and any library name falls because well you would think that this particular pip installation command is related to Python so it must work inside a Python shell. Well that is not the case so let me just exit out of it. All right now let me just exit out of it because it got you know stuck for a while there and it is working. So first of all the first rule is do not panic all right second is try again now as you can see i have just uh, terminated the python shell and i'm inside my c drive for the users code jana and in this command shell now the commands i'm going to add are related to command prompt and pip installation command is not related to python shell it is actually related to command prompt so what you need to do is do the pip installation command from your command prompt shell not the python one all right and please pay close attention to the left corner if you see a drive name then further the path name of your folder then you are working in your command prompt all right and if you see these greater than signs three to be exact then you are working with a python shell and after working with this for you know just a week or so you will get used to it you will not be making the same mistake so don't worry about that so if we do this pip install command from our command prompt shell we won't get that error and see now i already have flask installed in my system so it is just saying requirement already satisfied but if i did not have that for example let me just uninstall it it has successfully uninstalled so let me clear the screen so if i do a pip install flask now it is going to collect flask and then it is going to install it globally in my system so that's wonderful and now we did not see any error so that's how you take care of that pip syntax error command and if you are facing any issue as a beginner in python then please contact me on my whatsapp the link is in the description all right and the same goes for comment section as well please leave a comment down below and if you did find this video useful if you did find something helpful in this video then please subscribe to code channel because i'm going to be making such videos continuously 
on Python and maybe on other programming languages as well. So take care and I'll see you in the next one.